here we are backstage at Lorraine Scott's London show. She's a very well-known brand in America and she just needs to kind of do the extra push in Europe. New York really is about business and about growing a business, whereas London is really the hub of creativity and it's built a really great reputation about being a creative kind of force to be reckoned with. The fact that she's actually joined here with some other high-profile designers really adds to London's critical mass as a kind of market leader for fashion and, and for business. Thank you very much for having us here. Excited to be in London. I know, what was your decision for to move to London this season? Well, we always go to our own drumbeat, and I just felt like London was right. It's the right time. I, our business is expanding in Europe, expanding in the Middle East, moving a lot into Asia. And I really feel like London is such an important city, and it has, such an, it has the most important international foot traffic. You're very hands-on with business, aren't you? Yes. Right? So having that control of business, do you think that it's important to marry that kind of commercial savvy with the creativity as well? Well, your customer comes to you for that. They look to you for inspiration, and, but they also want to have your classics. They want to have what you do best. You always have to deliver to your customer what they come to you for. You have to show the news, what's yes. new for you, and you also have to show your customers what's new for them, what they rely on you for. I think Lorraine Scott is going to come to London and really do what she does best, but do it with a bit more style and a bit more clout and do something really eye-catching that's really going to get people's attention here. Today's show could be quite unusual in the fact there might actually be food here, and that's no mean feat for the crowd of 132 guests. We had fun playing with gold and texture and seeing how I could interpret my inspiration into the collection. Today we have an exciting real gold tattoos we designed that look like jewelry, which wow. is quite fun. They're 23 karat gold. All the shoes have been uh, gilded 23 karat gold. Accessories 23 karat gold. What was your inspiration behind the collection? I was very inspired by Klimt and his love affair with Adele Bauer, who was his muse. And I was reading a book called The Lady in Gold, and also at the same time reading another book about painters from the late 1800s through to the Surrealist movement, um, which is called Dreaming of Decadence. And I guess I started dreaming of that too. I wanted to have some paintings coming to life. So there are a few iconic paintings that I interpreted in embroideries and, and jacquards and woven tweeds and I'm excited to see that. Lorraine Scott was a model and then a stylist and then she moved from being a stylist to creating her own label to fill a gap in her own wardrobe of the things that she couldn't find for herself. I was making so many clothes for my clients, but I thought I didn't have a lot to lose by trying. You have much more to lose in life by wondering what could have been. I think the Lorraine Scott girl is very chic, she likes luxury, she knows who she is, she doesn't need to have her name in lights, and um, she's somebody who appreciates beautifully made clothes with, with beautiful hand embellishment. When you notice the beauty of the girl, you've done a good job. 